Amber is still mad at her mother for years of what she calls verbal, emotional, and physical attacks. Mom Julie, on the other hand, says she's never laid a hand on her daughter except in self-defense. Let's hear Amber's side of today's saga. Growing up, my mom was extremely physically abusive. When I was seven years old, she picked up a remote, threw it at me. To this day, I can still feel the bump in my ear. One time, and they hadn't done their chores. I got really upset, and I did start throwing dishes. After that one incident, I was never physical with my children. When I was 14, I skipped class, and when I got home that day, she started an argument with me, and I ran and locked myself in the bathroom. So I was knocking on the bathroom door, and she's yelling back at me, go away, you bitch. And she was kicking in, trying to get at me. Pretty soon, I'm laying on the door like this, trying to get her to open. And she lost her balance and fell through the wall. When my dad got home, my mom told him that I had been attacking her. And so my dad grabbed me by my throat and said, you ever touch her again, you'll have me to deal with. And she just said, see, he's protecting me. As I got older, I started fighting my mom back. I've slapped my mom, hit her, punched her. One time, she came home past curfew. She came in, I asked for the car keys, and I said, you're grounded from the car. I'm not grounded from the car, you can't ground me, you bitch. So I take the keys from her and go to push her out of the way. She takes that as a sign of bring it. And she grabs me in a chokehold. Then she grabs the keys from me. She goes, now who's got the keys, bitch? I did not put my mom in a chokehold. I shoved her off of me in self-defense. When the police came, both of them noted that I was the one with the red marks, and so she's the one that got reprimanded. Our relationship is extremely toxic, and at this point, I don't want her in my life. Well, Amber says all of her life, her mother has made her feel not good enough. Her mother, Julie, says her daughter is dramatic, and, well, she just says she's an exaggerating liar. Growing up, my mom was mean to me. She always made me feel like I wasn't good enough. My mom constantly nitpicked every detail of my life. My friends, who and when I hung out, my parents. Amber probably does see me as mean and overcritical. I had to be hyper-vigilant so that she didn't spin out of control. My mom's called me horrible things. She's called me a bitch, a slut. She's constantly judging how I raise my kids, how I am as a wife. Amber Lee has said, you're a judgmental bitch. You're a pill-popping, boozing woman. Amber is always the victim, and she always makes me out to be the bitch. I don't recall my mom ever complimenting me for any of my achievements. She is one of those people that wants a pedestal and a standing ovation for every time she does anything. My mom always showed my sisters more affection, more support than she ever showed me. Amberly's sisters were treated differently because they're different people. Of course she's gonna feel like they got more praise. They didn't do as many negative behaviors. It's been 15 years of crap and I'm fed up. At this point, I don't even care if I'm thrown under the bus. I just want to quit this stupid cycle of madness. Okay, now, you said she's very manipulative and that she'll come out here and she'll put on a good show and all of that, but is very different with you. When it's me and her one-on-one, -on -one, it's either all or nothing with her. It's either you completely agree with me or you're from hell. You say you resent the fact that she's failed to protect you when you were growing up. You said that she has called you a slut and a bitch and a gypsy bitch. Does she call you these names? Did I get that right? Her running nickname for me to this day is Gypsy Bitch. Why? That started the... from her getting drunk one night and we had to call EMTs on her and that's just what she kept referring to me as was this is my gypsy bitch. Do you call her these names? I did that night. I, I did have a bad you night about a year ago. Day. You do too as a, as a behind the scenes kind of laughing it off because it was a bad night. You yourself laugh about it and kind of joke about how funny it was. How else am I supposed to react about it with you? Well, then you can't complain that it's a bad thing when you're joking about I it. I can't confront me. you about it either. 